<laughs> At this moment, the Jones family's immediate future is a blast from the past. <laughs> They came to East Tennessee Children's Hospital's NICU for a tour. But what they got was a surprise visit from a nurse who helped the family through one of their biggest moments together, the birth of their first child, Morgan. <laughs> Retired ETCH nurse Ann Kennedy spent countless days with Morgan. And I was your primary nurse. <laughs> I'm Ann. Who has now just graduated from college. Oh, Lord. Oh, yeah. oh, Lord. That's our reward is to see them grow up, go to school, get married. We used to have them come in here with their own babies. You know, it's, you see the whole circle of life and it just, it, it, after all those years, it, I was so excited to see her today. With my mama. Morgan's life began a little earlier than expected. Her mother, Desiree, gave birth when she was 26 weeks pregnant. You know, I was one of the, the mothers that was determined. I thought, you know, my will could make her survive, you know. We're believers. We prayed. Our, our knees hit the floor every night um, for her because, you know, it's very hard to not leave the hospital with your newborn and hard to leave her, especially if she's having issues. But um, I think that knowing that such well-trained people were taking care of her it was amazing. And those experts know hope never leaves the NICU, even when babies are fighting for their lives. When I think of Morgan and I think of how tiny she was, when these families come in, the one most important thing I always said was, don't you ever, ever give up hope, ever. We see too many miracles happen. Between Anne, fellow NICU nurse Melissa, and the rest of the staff, the Jones family experienced one of those miracles. Melissa says seeing Morgan as an adult made her proud to have been a part of her growing up. It's wonderful to see because I feel like the things that Ann did, the things that you know maybe I did and the other nurses made a huge difference in her outcome today and to be the person she is today. Desiree can go back and relive memories through photos, memories she now has because of the hard work of everyone at East Tennessee Children's Hospital. You know, everyone said, well, she's gonna have these limitations, she's not gonna be able to do this, and I can't put any expectations on her. I mean, she's here. Um, I, you know, I asked a newborn, I said, will you stay with us? You know, I would talk to her every day and say, please stay. It's gonna be a great life, and I think it's hers to make. It's amazing to know all these people who know me and care about me, and I don't even know them, but they still. <laughs> They still love me.